Welcome back, everyone. It was a letter meant only for the eyes of the president. But now, not only Nigerians, the whole of the world now can read and digest the letter from a minister of the president that is so frustrated about virtually everything that happens under his nose. Some of those things that he said he cannot even control. If you take an NPC out of the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, there's perhaps only resources left. Well... Let's get talking again. I still have my guest here in the studio, Mr. Akin Oshuntokun, a former presidential aide who has been giving us benefits of his insight and experience at the villa, and also Senator Shehu Sani, a member of the ruling All Progressives Congress. Let me come to you quickly, uh, Senator Sani. Uh, when a minister comes forward to talk uh, uh, to some of the frustrations that we've seen uh, with him. He, he did mention nepotism. This is not the first time we're hearing this kind of thing under this very administration. Are you afraid of this kind of uh, incident and this kind of talk, whether true or false? Um, well, it is natural when you belong to a system and you are part of a government and you try to bring the attention of your principal to something going wrong for which he is either not aware or he is deliberately ignoring it. And well, it is difficult to differentiate between an open letter and a leaked memo. I think the difference is that this one is called a memo, but um, I think the author of that letter deliberately want to bring to spotlight what is happening in the NMPC. And um, the content of that letter and the allegations raised uh, also raise a number of issues, not only about the NMPC, but about uh, the whole structure of governance as it exists today, in the very sense that um, if a minister of state can outrightly say it's been difficult for him to access channels to which he can uh, he can present his issues. And I think there is a system disconnect there. And uh, it is simply uh, given credence to the fact that there exists a government within a government. There are individuals that have formed a shield, a cycle. Uh, so so it is true when you said Ayanas and the Jakas that you made reference to. So the, the Ayanas and the Jakas are truly existing. Well, um, <laughs> Kachiku's letter, and I think the issues he is raising in every possible way, is pointing to the fact that there are uh, a cycle of power within power itself. And in some cases, they call them kitchen cabinet, but this is not a kitchen cabinet. This is about uh, some persons who have surrounded the president and are exercising uh, power to themselves and to their advantage and also manipulating power for their own personal interest. Senator, do you think the president is aware of this situation you are talking about? Well, um, of the firm believe that if he is aware of this, he will have taken action. And if he is not aware of this, and this has been brought to the public for, and then he can now take action on it. But if he uh, said he will not take an action on this issue, then it will certainly stain the integrity and reputation I'll, of the government. I'll come to you on what this means for your party, for the future, because you actually did not talk about the issue of nepotism. You left that out, Senator, maybe intentionally.